Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna be doing my birthday mani, which is a Pisces mani. Um, this is the plate that I will be using, and it is from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I love that they have the little uh, website at the bottom, which is super cute. They also, when you buy a plate, they also bring these little um, insert cards, so it like shows you how like designs look like, which I thought that was very clever. Um, today for the dip powders, I'm going to be using Into the Night from Triple D, as well as her Blue Hawaiian, and this one is from her new cocktails um, collection. Some of my nails are going to be matte, so I will be using her matte gel top coat and also her foil stamping polish in the shade black or the color black. So my nails are already prepped, ready to go, and I have my favorite peel base on, which is the UNT peel base. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I decided to do my middle finger black because later on I am going to end up uh, chroming it and I decided to chrome it over black. So as usual, I will be doing three quarters of the way up the nail and then two full coats. Um, and in between, I'm gonna go ahead and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this part and I'll be back in between. One of the things that I wanted to let you guys know that Triple D's black is super highly pigmented and it also doesn't stain your nails, which I love. And I, I love colors that um, have high pigmentation like reds and blacks and navy blues that you can use and doesn't stain your nails. And Triple D has that black. I think this is actually my second pot of her black um, dip powder because I have a backup just in case. Um, like I said, this is my favorite black and whenever I do have a black on a Manny, I always choose the Triple D one. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I am using the Triple D liquids as well for this mani. Um, so you wanna make sure that your coats are fairly thin and that you're covering your entire nail before you pour over the dip powder. And her liquids are actually pretty easy to work with. They are slow drying, so in some parts of the video, you do see me um, dust off a little bit, but then pouring some more powder on just because, like I said, there are slow drying, so sometimes it needs more time to soak up. The powder needs more time to soak up all that dip base, which is okay because it leaves you more time to like work around for like cleaning up your cuticle area or anything like that. So I highly recommend these dip liquids as well. So right here, I'm actually activating the uh, black because since it is a darker color, it is gonna take some more time to cure and harden. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I have a generous amount of activator on before I move on to Blue Hawaiian. Now, I decided to do Blue Hawaiian on the rest of the colors. I know it's gonna look weird right now to have just the middle finger black, but I, prom I promise you the design that we're doing, it's all gonna just flow all together. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and go three quarters of the way up the nail, all the way down to the free edge, do the pour over method, um, clean around my cuticle area, dust off, and then do two full coats. So this part, I'm basically doing that to all the rest of my nails using Blue Hawaiian. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch and then I'll be right back.
All right, so as you can tell, Blue Hawaiian is a sky blue kind of pastel type of color. And she did come out with 15 different shades in this cocktail collection. So make sure you guys go check that out. There's literally a shade for everybody. All of these colors are super fun and they're flirty. And like I said, there's 15 different shades that you can choose from. And there is a shade for everyone, I promise you. So right here, I'm activating the, all of the nails that have Blue Hawaiian on them. And then I'm actually going to file and buff off camera. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started with the um, nail designs. Okay, so this is how they look already foul and buff and ready for the mani. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna chrome my middle finger and I do have my lamp right here ready to go. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Triple D gel base and I'm gonna add a thin layer on my middle finger. After I feel like the middle finger is um, like leveled off, there's no bubbles and um, the whole entire nail is completely covered. Because remember, we have to chrome, so you have to make sure that all of that black space is completely covered with the gel before you cure. So again, I want to make sure that everything is even, there's no bubbles, um, and then that everything is leveled. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. This is the chrome pen that I'm using in D1, and again, it's from Triple D. So what you're gonna do is, actually I'm gonna show you how it looks like. This is how it looks like on the inside. That's where you get the chrome comes off, and it comes off in this little like pillow cushiony thing. And what I like to do is I like to dot it all over my nail first. And I only do it about twice. I think once or twice, all you need for one nail. And then I go ahead and rub it in. And I'm rubbing downwards, and also around the cuticle. Again, everywhere you put your gel base is where the uh, chrome is going to stick to. So we're just making sure right here just that everything is uh, even, there's no streaks, and all of that gel base is covered. And then we're gonna go ahead and dust off the excess micro powder that the chrome left behind. And then of course we're gonna take our Triple D gel top coat and then apply a thin layer of that and then cure for 60 seconds. Thank you. 
Now I'm taking my alcohol pump and I did get this little pump from uh, the double dip store and it's basically 91 proof alcohol in here and I'm taking it on a lint free wipe. This is going to help you take off all of that excess residue that the chrome left behind. So we're actually going to be using um, this method after each time we chrome and you'll see it later on in the video but right now I'm just going to help clean up that middle finger. And that's how she looks like guys. Now let's go ahead and move on to the other fingers. Since I wanted my blue Hawaiian nails to be matte, I'm now gonna apply my gel uh, matte top coat from Triple D. And I'm doing a thin and even layer on um, all of the nails. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the stamping design. Okay, now let's go ahead and get ready for our stamping design. So right here, I'm actually just um, prepping my area, making sure I have everything close to me. And I definitely recommend you guys getting a lint roller brush thingy because it <laughs> helps you like clean up your area or clean your stamper. Okay, so I decided to do this Pisces sign right here. And what I'm doing is I'm actually putting a little bit of that foil stamping polish. I'm scraping the excess off and then I'm rolling my stamper on top. And then once I um, get the design that I want, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes you have to do it more than one time, but right here I'm actually just placing it in the center of my pointer finger. I'm sorry that I was out of focus for a little bit. Um, it was kind of hard doing that on camera. But um, after that, I'm actually just tapping the that same chrome pen right on top of the uh, stamp, foil stamping polish design. After that, I'm dusting off the excess chrome, um, like those fine little powders it leaves behind. Right here I'm showing you guys how I clean my uh, foil polish off of the plate. That pump I was using earlier with alcohol in it, I'm just using it on a lint-free wipe. Then I take a clean lint-free wipe and just, um, just basically dry that completely, making sure all of the black was gone. So for the next nail, I'm using these fishes right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Again, I'm gonna put a little bit of that foil polish where I need it, scrape off the excess, and then roll my stamper to pick up the design. The design didn't pick up as good as I wanted, so this is why I said having a lint roller is like very handy, because it literally, you just roll it on there and it wipes off your um, stamper super quick. And then again, you would just use alcohol, um, to clean the plate and then basically just start the process over so this is what i'm doing you guys get to see like me basically starting over okay so this design right here picked up way better so we're gonna go ahead and use this one and I'm actually gonna go ahead and place this one on the center of my nail as well and then I'm gonna go ahead and chrome it after I place the design
Okay, so this part is really important. So to keep from the design from either um, coming off or like fading away, you need to actually cap the um, chrome design. So I'm using a gel top coat and I'm actually using just the regular nail art brush and I am actually tracing that same design in the gel top coat. And then in between, I have to flash cure because I just want to make sure that the uh, gel top coat didn't move or shift in any way. But again, this part is important if you guys decide to do this design. Um, you need to go ahead and make sure that you cap your design with a gel top coat. Um, but right here, I'm also making sure that I'm not touching my um, matte part of the nail because again, I wanted to keep some part of it matte and some part of it chrome. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch this part because I'm going to go ahead and do both nails. Now that my design is completely capped, we're gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And then I'm gonna take some more alcohol and then just wipe off all of that excess chrome dust that was left behind. So this is how it ended up looking, but I felt like the design needed a little bit more. Um, the my I felt like my thumb and my pinky were looking a little naked. What I decided to do was take some of that foil stamping polish and then use a nail art brush and just um, for my pinky I decided to go around my cuticle area like put a little I don't know what this design is called but kind of like a crescent moon kind of thing so I just basically followed the shape of my cuticle area and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some chrome powder on top of that once it dries a little bit because it does still need to be a little bit tacky but if it's too tacky you'll end up moving the polish so you do need to wait a little bit um, before you add the chrome So right here, I'm taking a little bit more of that gel top coat to cap that chrome area that I just did. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure for um, a full 60 seconds before I move on to my thumb. Now, I do want to apologize. I did do my thumb off camera only because I didn't realize it wasn't recording. Just to give you guys a heads up, I decided to do a, a French tip for like the chrome area. All right, and this is the end result. I am so proud of myself, you guys. It took me longer than it should have, but I am a newbie when it comes to stamping. So what, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually refreshing and hydrating my cuticle areas with some cuticle oil from uh, Scales of a Mermaid. And again, I'm so proud of this, Manny. Happy birthday to all my Pisces out there. Shout out to you guys. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!